Good morning. It's Thursday, November 16th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Hope Secured, and our scripture is John's revelation of Jesus Christ, chapter 16. Then I heard a mighty voice from the temple say to the seven angels, Go your ways and pour out on the earth the seven bowls containing God's wrath. So the first angel left the temple and poured out his bowl on the earth, and horrible malignant sores broke out on everyone who had the mark of the beast and who worshipped his statue. Then the second angel poured out his bowl on the sea, and it became like the blood of a corpse and everything in the sea died. Then the third angel poured out his bowl on the rivers and springs, and they became blood. And I heard the angel who had authority over all water saying, You are just, O Holy One, who is and who always was, because you have sent these judgments. Since they shed the blood of your holy people and your prophets, you have given them blood to drink. It is their just reward. And I heard a voice from the altar saying, Yes, O Lord God the Almighty, your judgments are true and just. The last several days we've looked at our hope in Jesus Christ. Hope, as a noun or a verb, is an expectation. We either expect something will happen or want it to happen. This is the perspective of our last three devotions, hope anew, hope renewed, and hope shared. These are matters of faith as we place our faith in Christ and have it renewed throughout this life of trials and fears and as we share faith's hope with others. In today's passage, we step from faith in this life to fulfillment of our hope, the consummation of God's promises as he pours judgment on evil in the truest and most just of recompense. Angels, in perfect obedience to the Father, pour out the stored reprisal of every evil thought or brutal deed. Those who have rejected Christ and God's offer of forgiveness meet the horror of God's wrath. Those who mock God in this life caricaturize any mention of judgment day or sin or any allusion to God's authority as quote-unquote fairy tales or at the very least a naively ignorant preacher's manipulation. But in that day when the hope of the faithful shall become sight, all will see his glory. Those who refuse to bend a knee now will have no choice but to kneel then. Apostle Paul said it this way in Romans 14, For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. For it is written, As I live, saith the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to God. So then every one of us shall give account of himself to God. In that day there will be no excuses, for even those who in their unbelief mock and profane the name of God will see Christ and his Father who by the Holy Spirit unveils the glory of heaven, and they will fall to their knees and confess that he alone is God. Those who have chosen in this life to deny Jesus the hope of God's glory will in that day have their choice granted eternally in the lake of fire. That is a sad but solemn part of our hope in Jesus Christ. He will right every wrong against God and reward every sacrificial service or suffering in the name of Jesus. God will not do this lightly or with any degree of spite or enjoyment, but the ultimate character of God is to be holy and entirely righteous, and in that holy righteousness God will judge sin. Those who have trusted in Christ will be gathered like a hen gathers her chicks, or a mother bear lovingly protects her cubs. Those who have trusted in themselves, refusing Christ's offer of forgiveness and eternal life, will experience an eternal death without God. For you today, a preacher friend of mine once summed up God's offer to be saved from our sinful wickedness. He said this, The wages of sin is death, and those wages must be paid. We can either let Jesus' death on the cross pay for our sin now, or we can pay for them later when we stand before God at the judgment seat. 
My friend was telling it like it is. Trust God. Place your faith in the secure hope of Christ. Meet you on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.